celebrate Christmas, but I have a lot of friends that celebrate Hanukkah. So I wanted to learn a little bit more about Hanukkah. I'm going to share this book, The Night Before Hanukkah, by Natasha Wing, illustrated by Amy Wummer. Twas the night before the eight days of Hanukkah. Families were prepping from New York to Santa Monica. The children soon nestled all snug in their beds while visions of chocolate gelt danced in their heads. The very next evening, our family gathered round. The festival of lights began right after sundown. Our menorah was set out by the window with care. It's an heirloom passed down from our great grandma Claire. Dad put on his yarmulke, pinned it down on his hair. Then mom lit the shamash candle after saying the first prayer. The flames, how they flickered, our faces cast in light. We sang Rock of Ages while the candles burned bright. Then we opened our presents. Oh wow, earrings for me! And a building set for my brother, who's three. The next night we played dreidel. That's a top that you spin with four Hebrew letters, Nun, Hey, Gimel, and Shin. We each tossed in a coin made of chocolate called Gelt. I snuck one and ate it before it could melt. It was my turn to go. If it lands on Gimel, I win. But Shin turned up, so I put another coin in. Our dad won that game when our coins all ran out, but he divvied up his winnings, sharing's what it's all about. On the third night of Hanukkah, after the candles were aflame, Dad read the story of Jewish heroes. Maccabee was their name. Let's take back our temple, the Maccabees led with a shout. The Jewish people fought and won, and they kicked the enemy out. Then they cleaned their holy temple and prepared to kindle the light. But the lamp had so little oil, it could only burn for one night. So they prayed for divine help, and help came indeed. The lamp stayed lit for eight days. God had met their need. Before their wondering eyes, a miracle took place. The glory of Hanukkah for all Jews to embrace. On the fourth night, we ate latkes, deep-fried potato pancakes. On the fifth night, jelly donuts, the ones my Uncle Dan makes. On the sixth night, we visited cousins. It's a family tradition. The aunts made gravy and brisket. Yummy smells filled the kitchen. On the seventh night, to share our happy Hanukkah mood, we brought presents for others and lots of holiday food. Mm. On the eighth and last night, mom had bad news to report. I don't know how this happened, but we're one candle short. Don't worry, I said as I pulled a drawer handle. We can use this one, I cried, a birthday cake candle. Mom placed it in the menorah, then lit them all left to right. Dad reminded us that, like our faith, they burned bright. As the last candles burned, like they had for eight nights, we wished a happy Hanukkah to all, the Festival of Light. Wow, that is so cool. Now I feel like I understand a little bit more about Hanukkah and what that is, a menorah. And now we know that they light eight candles. This is so much fun. And if you want to share any holiday stories or traditions with me, you can leave a comment below. Well, I hope you had fun. Happy holidays and we'll see you really soon. Do 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 you know?